Today's experiment will show us how adding different substances will affect a frozen ice cube or the freezing point of water. Before beginning this experiment, it is important that students realize water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. As an introduction to this lesson, I like to take a cup of ice as well as some hot tea and mix them together. The ice almost immediately melts. The students are able to connect the fact that the heat is what melted the ice. This leads us into a conversation about warm summer days and how on those warm days anything icy usually melts pretty quickly. However, in the winter time we often get ice on our roads or icicles hanging from our houses. Therefore, heat is one melting agent. However, we have other melting agents around us. So today we're going to use the scientific method to discover how adding different substances to our ice cube affects the freezing point of water. This experiment is going to take 30 minutes. You will need six ice cubes, salt, sugar, pepper, baking soda, and meat tenderizer. You will also need something to complete your experiment in such as a cupcake pan or plastic cups. Since this experiment was conducted at home, a cupcake pan was used. However, in a school setting, I would put the students into groups and they would get six plastic cups. Each cup would contain an ice cube. You will notice that we have six ice cubes and five substances. The ice cube without a substance added will be our control group throughout our experiment. Make sure that you use cubes from an ice cube tray. The smaller pieces will not last throughout the whole experiment. The students should begin by logging what they're trying to discover. Then they need to describe every group, including their control group. Next, they need to create their hypothesis. What do they think will happen as each ice cube melts? Do they think it's going to melt fast? Which one do they think is going to melt the fastest? Once their hypothesis is complete, they will begin the hands-on part of the experiment. Taking their six ice cubes, they place one in each container, and then they begin adding the substances. We used a tablespoon of each different ingredient. We could almost immediately hear some of the ice cubes melting. Within one minute, the salted ice cube fell on its side, and shortly thereafter, the meat tenderizer one did as well. Every five minutes, the students should be logging down on their scientific method sheet what the groups look like. At the end of 30 minutes, the students should again log down the results and then compare it with their hypothesis. They should then take that information and write their conclusion stating what they have learned from this experiment. It took a total of 45 minutes for all of the ice cubes to melt. However, in order to learn which one melted first and which one melted last, you'll have to do this experiment for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know below if you completed this experiment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to be proud of your work, productive in your day, and positively joyful.